Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, in class, we uh, didn't uh, talk about the microscope, which you need to understand for one of your homework problems. So let's take a look at how a microscope works. So uh, as we said in class, the microscope is a two lens system. So if this is our optical axis, and we put one lens right there and a second lens right there then we can make what's called a microscope now the the distance between the lenses here is L the focal length of this first guy which we call the objective is pretty short compared to L okay so it maybe has a focal length about there This lens over here is the eyepiece. And the eyepiece also has a short focal length. It's usually a little bit longer than the objective. Maybe something like that. The way a um, microscope works is when you put an object very close to the first focal point, you generate an image that is very close to the eyepiece focal point. And that image causes parallel rays to come out of the eyepiece, which you can then see with your eyeball. The length of this tube is usually on the order of 16 centimeters. So you could work out uh, the optics of this sort of arrangement, but it's a little bit complicated. And so what we'd like to tell you is what is the magnification of a telescope, I mean a, a microscope. So the magnification that you see, M, is equal to negative L minus Fe all times capital N over F-O-F-E. L is the length between the lenses. F-E is the focal length of the eyepiece. F-O is the focal length of the objective. What is this thing N? N turns out to be the near point of your eye. Which means how close can you focus? If I hold a piece of paper up and I try to read it, how close can I come to my eye and still be able to focus on that text? Now, for most humans, N is on the order of 25 centimeters. So if somebody says, what's the near point of the eye? A good answer is 25 centimeters. Okay, with this in mind, let's take a look at one of your homework problems. So let's take a look at uh, chapter 26, homework problem, uh, number 94. So in this one it says, in a compound microscope the objective has a focal length of 0.58 centimeters. Uh, the eyepiece has a focal length of 2.2 centimeters. And uh, the separation between the objective and the eyepiece is 11 centimeters. Okay, uh, it says another microscope that has the same angular magnification can be constructed by interchanging the two lenses provided that the distance between the lenses is adjusted to a value L prime, find L prime. Okay, so that's sort of interesting, right? If we had the objective first and the IP second, then with this distance between it, it makes a very nice microscope. But you could in fact flip those two around, and if you change the L between them, you will get the same magnification. So let's see if we can figure out what that is. Well, M 
we said was negative L minus Fe all times near point N divided by FO Fe. And now in the second case, M prime, that is going to be equal to negative L prime minus, remember we're flipping the objective and the IP, so Fe becomes FO, we're still multiplying by N, we divide by Fe, FO. And now those two things are equal. M is equal to M prime. And if M equals M prime, then a bunch of stuff cancels out. The denominator is the same on both. That cancels out. The negative sign out in front is the same on both. That drops out. The N is the same on both. That drops out. And so all we're left with is L prime minus FO from the second equation equals L minus FE from the first equation. Put FO over on the other side and we have L prime equals L minus FE plus FO. And now we have all those numbers. There's our L, there's our FE, there's our FO. If you plug in those numbers, you should get 9.38 centimeters. Okay? Try that with uh, your numbers, and if you have any issues, come see me in my office. Good luck.